Hi, my name is Chelsea Giacchello. I'm a makeup artist from Los Angeles, California. And in today's video, I wanted to give you my do's and don'ts for applying makeup on you or your client um, with pitted acne scars. Unfortunately, you can't cover up or hide your acne scars completely, especially with certain overhead lighting and things like that. But there are makeup products that you could avoid using that accentuate your pitted acne scars. This is something that's not really talked about often and it's very important to know how to do makeup on all kinds of skin conditions. And in today's video, I'm gonna actually do the tutorial on myself because I have pitted acne scars. So let's get into it. I like to use a stippling brush for pitted acne scars. Stippling brushes typically have two sets of bristles. The white synthetic fibers pick up the product and apply it to your skin, while the bottom fibers at the base are denser and help push the product into the skin. Now my pitted acne scars are primarily in my cheeks area, so that's where I like to focus. I usually don't apply my brush directly into the foundation with other types of brushes, but a stippling brush picks up such little product that I will do that in this case. Always start with thin layers and then add more thin layers if needed to build it up. Because they are crevices in the skin, they create a shadow that makes them stand out. So you wanna make sure you really push the product into the areas to lighten up those shadows. Now I'm just grabbing the larger stippling brush and just blending everything together. For powder, I like to use either a flat top kabuki or a round top. I'm gonna do a round top today. Now I like to use the same technique in the parts that I have pitted acne scars. I just like to stipple it in with my powder. I like to use a foundation powder, not a colorless or a setting powder on those areas because I just find that when I put bronzer over it, it just turns it dark and more noticeable. Now I'm using my bronzer and I'm doing the same technique, stippling. When I do swipe, I am doing a very light swiping motion here, but the brush is very soft and I'm putting very, very light pressure to where only the tips of the bristles are really touching my skin. If you put too much pressure, it's gonna wipe off the makeup and make the scars look worse. Now I'm doing the same technique with my blush, just very light strokes and stippling it on as well. Now I'm finishing up with a highlighter. I don't have any acne scars in this area, so I can use a highlight. Products I try to stay away from are anything that is reflective. So glowy primers, highlighters, powdered blush or bronzers with shimmers in the places of the acne scars. Also, I stay away from cream blush and cream bronzers. Now this makes me really sad because all I wanna do some days is throw on some cream or liquid blush. It looks so natural and fresh, but I've done this and it just makes the scars look so much worse and noticeable. Remember that these do's and don'ts only apply into the areas that you have the scarring. If you have scarring, for instance, on your forehead or chin, then you can use shimmer on your cheeks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today. If you try any of these, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how they worked out for you or your client. If you got value out of this video, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. I do post weekly videos. See you on my next video. Bye.